we have travelled literally everywhere around the world together. We've done expos in Australia, to everywhere, regardless of the United States. But again, every place we've been, you would have that line and you were first to the booth and you would last, you would put in six hours. Oh, yeah. Not even take a break. I oh. remember being in body power. I would go, I would have security come and get me and they would take me to the green room and... um we would be talking in the green room. It was Dana. I'm seeing her. Oh, she she said she's just going to keep on going until the last person. But you never have. Oh, a last they person. used to. I remember like Olympia and Arnold. They used to. The expo would be over. Yeah. And I'd still have like you know like a hundred people in line. So they're like cleaning up the booths. People are like putting <laughs> like actually breaking their booths down. And I still yeah, the have yellow my jackets are on. <laughs> hat, they're like, hat, we, we got to get you out of here. And I would I would not leave yeah. until. Yeah. I would make sure at least they got a picture. Yes. We probably wouldn't get to, it'd be like, cool, that's just, get them done. We've but, done this before where you oh, had, guys, get it. everybody's going to pull their cameras out. I, right I'm going to take a photo with everybody, but we're going to run down the line and nobody's going to miss out. So yeah. we were like. So at least you get a picture. Yeah. 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 Be it, yeah, be they it would, something. They would close the expo down. I was yeah. still there like an hour usually after the expo. As a fan favorite a people's champ in this sport what 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 are some of the the craziest things you've seen the fans have done for you uh we get a lot of incredible paintings wow yeah actually the the coolest and he i don't know if he's a fan but i have like a 40 foot dana on the outside of uh a gym in Australia. Oh, Meetax. Yeah, Meetax. Yeah, he's, he's, done a, me he's amazing. Unbelievable. But like, shout maybe, out to Meetax. Yeah, he ha, he's done a couple of me, and like, there, I'm mm-hmm. inside one. I went and like took pictures at all the places, but mm-hmm. that's like some of the most incredible stuff. But like, on the on the small range, like generally, I I get a lot of criers, and I love it because yeah. <laughs> they're like, I don't know what's because it it's almost like I they find they're fine they're fine, and then they get in front of me and they can't something happens they a lot of times they're like i don't even know what's happening i don't know what's why <laughs> like i just they don't know what's happening they just yeah. start crying they're like i just have so much emotion going on and i'm like that's incredible yeah. like that's really really incredible that and to to make someone that excited or happy or just to cry like mm-hmm. i like to be a part of somebody's life in that way is really cool it supersedes all that nonsense, oh, all that yeah. shit talk. Right? It, it makes everything worth it. And that's why most people say, like, I don't know how you do it. How yeah. do you do these expos? And that's how I do it. That's literally how I do it. Like, if if everyone just came up and just was like, mm, can I just get a photo? <laughs> it would be horrible. I would... But I live off of there, like the girl, like a lot of girls that are just like so bound. They're like, oh my God, I can't, they just can't hang. Like sometimes the guys do it too. And then it's like, okay, this is a little weird. (laughs) Like when guys are like shaky and cry, it makes me a little like weirded out, but girls do it all the time and that's fine. You know, we're emotional creatures, but. uh, Well, you mentioned weird. What's the weirdest thing that that, that you want to talk about on the podcast that's happened as a fan? What would be the weirdest? I don't know. Do you have one? What's your weirdest? Maybe oh, I'll I have so many. I have so many. I'll give you a PG version. Okay. And then, uh, and, uh, I mean, obviously, me and having a pair of cats, I would have some random weirdos that i turn around and they'd be like commando on the floor taking photos of my cats. Oh, okay. Creeping yeah. up to me. PG. Oh, yeah. And then it goes worse. So, when when I first started doing expos... It was like, I was so, unco- like, there would be, this is back when, like, camcorder, like, they had, like, these giant camcorders and shit. <laughs> Bazooka. <laughs> like, they're not cell phones. Like, now it's just cell phones. But I'd be, like, sitting on the floor trying to eat and stuff, and, like, mm. people are just filming me. And then, like, I remember the first couple expos. That's why, I, that's why I, like, started wearing, I don't know if you remember, when I w- was with MHP, like, all the, they would give me this outfit and be like, here, this is your outfit. I'm like, I'm not wearing that. It's like floss. I, so, yeah, it was like, I'm not wearing that. I'll, I used to make my own sports bra, and then I uh, wore UFO pants. Do you remember UFO pants? They're big parachute pants with, like, streamers and shit. They're oh, huge. Nice. They're massive pants. Yeah. So that's what I used to wear because I used to have, like, like weird, creepy men, and I would be at the expo for hours, and they would stand there for, like, two hours filming me at my every move. 
it, it, it's so weird. And then Rob, like Rob almost fought someone at one point in time, like <laughs> threw the camera on the ground. Like, <laughs> wow. Cause it, it like at some point, like, man, like yeah. what are you doing with that later, man? <sighs> That's creepy. Are you taking that home and just watching me and no question? It's doing, printed out, it's on the ceiling. You know, I don't feel like it's as weird. Mm. I think now, like expos, don't feel as creepy as they used to be when I first got into it. Because I think females and muscles were really like a weird new thing. This mm. is like you know, two thousand and eight, ten. I don't know. Muscles and women were a new f- thing. So there was like all those like fetishy people that mm. you know her biceps like where you're flexing all slow yeah, yeah, there yeah. was a there were years where because i didn't want to end up on those sites mm-hmm. the the female flexing sites i people would be like oh shit, flex and i wouldn't flex now i do yeah um yeah they used to ask a lot back then remember when i it was just print hey show us your f- yeah your I, bicep, I, I used no. i used to, I no i used to not do it because I would end up on like these weird sites and yeah. stuff and I didn't want, to, and I was probably still teaching at that. I was like, I don't want to end up on those weird sites. Mm. So I used to not flex for like years. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't. And then finally I feel like, I feel like it just got a little more normalized and it's not creepy anymore. And now I flex in like all photos and yeah. it's not weird. I don't think there's like, occasionally you'll get a guy that's just like filming you for like a couple minutes, but eh, it's, you know, it's not as bad anymore. I'm trying to think of uh, another PG version. I can think of some crazy shit, but I'll give you PG version. Oh, I had a call when I was in Australia before, um, many moons ago. And uh, it was kind of when I was coming up the ranks, right? Yeah. It was before I won anything. Actually, it was more weird shit when I was coming up the oh, ranks. Oh, I have. I have actually. Yeah. Now that you're, th- I'm thinking of stuff. Yeah. I have some weird scammy stuff that people were doing, and I don't know why they were doing it. Like... I think they were trying to get me places, which is really creepy huh. and scary. So there was, so this yeah, is, go ahead. yeah. So before I finally got with like, I mean, like I was trying to get sponsored and I was, I was going to all these shows and expos. So I don't even know how this girl approached me or how she got my email or I don't, I don't know how this even happened, but she said she worked for Gaspari and Gaspari was like the big time. Like I wanted to be like, Ava Cowan was like huge back then. I was like, man, like me. Oh yeah, you were with Gaspari. Oh, oh my yeah. god. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. It's in my podcast. Yeah, but I'm I'm, th- <laughs> I'm thinking of girls because like, like no, she was she was like she, big, she was Gaspari she was, was yeah, like then, yeah. the the brand I wanted to be with. Like they had like the cool foot, like everything. Gaspari mm. was it. I think we tried to to talk talk with you at one point in time because Rich I pro- asked me. I probably oh yeah, so yeah so Rich I probably. Yeah, afterwards. So Rich wanted nothing to do with me for years and years and years. Actually yeah. got very mad. Yeah. So <laughs> that's another funny story. I love, I love him. We, he offered like he offered a lot of money finally down the road, but there were years where we were trying to work with yeah. them. Thank you for watching this segment. Check out the full interview on iTunes, Spotify, or YouTube. Help us by subscribing. Leave a like, comment, or a positive review. Click this to see what YouTube recommends. And this to see the full interview. See you on the next one. Out.